I was heavily debating on whether or not to release this next video that you're about to see, but I really feel like it's important for people to understand that NBA 2K is gonna be NBA 2K. By the way, if you did not see the last vlog that I uploaded about my graduation from college, definitely go watch it. I'm sure you all will enjoy it. But for now, this is, I believe, game three, or no, I'm sorry, this might be game four. We were up uh, three to nothing in this series, from what I can remember, at least try to remember, because it's been a while since I've been able to actually look at this footage. Now, obviously, I recorded this with my PS4, so it's not um, recording with the Elgato HD60, only because I really didn't feel like I had enough time to sit down as I immediately already pick up a foul. That's going to be a key element to watch out for in this game. I really I really didn't feel like I had enough time to record with my Elgato HD60 this past week because of all the graduation and senior week stuff and just knowing that that was going to be such a hassle. But regardless, we are up 3 to nothing, up against the San Antonio Spurs as I get my first dunk of the game. Always really nice to see. Always want. I'm always doing that. Just driving to the rim and just dunking it all over people. That's probably the only thing I could do this game, especially late in the playoffs, because my teammates could not make shots for some reason. It was just the weirdest thing ever. But regardless, I go up with the very nice dunk, as of course we show that very nice replay of me getting the dunk, this two hand jam for safety. But this game was definitely a lot of crazy things happened. For example, how do I not collect that rebound? I know I wasn't really boxed out and in position, but maybe I was, I felt like I was kind of there, especially with hitting the triangle button. It's like trying to get a rebound in NBA Playgrounds, which I heard was really hard, especially with all that. Like, look at that. That's just completely ridiculous. But anyway, uh, I'm overall over this guy and I get a very nice block. Coming up right behind the guy, not even caring if he's going to try and do a layup or dunk as I get the assist to Justice Young, Orange Juice in the connection. So this is obviously the first time for me actually doing a voiceover, especially for a 2K video, as I get another nice reverse slam. Let that music play a little bit, getting another dunk. That's awesome. I really love getting those dunks, especially the, the uh, just like the dunks in general. But anyway, having him grab the rebound, going on up the court. I'm just going to try and record this from what I remember, because again, how does Seacum, this guy Seacum, who's been actually not too bad during the regular season, all of a sudden can't even make a single layup in the playoffs. That's just been the key element uh, for the next couple of games. I, I hate that steal. I hate that steal where you're going in for a layup and the computer just decides to do that strip uh, stuff, you know, the strip steal, which is so annoying. But we, we need to try and come back, especially since we're down by 10 points. I haven't even looked at the score, to be honest. So has been a while since I did recording a voiceover uh, and no one. Flex. Getting the nice and one there. We definitely needed that. And of course, I convert the and one. So obviously, I haven't been doing. And by the way, someone got a foul there, but that's, that's really weird. So anyway, this is like the first time me recording after uh, or doing a voiceover after I'm done recording. I haven't done this since like the very early days. It's like NBA 2K14. Every every other commentary was just live, and I feel like that's a lot better because. Post-production is just, uh, I don't know, it's a little difficult for me as I get another nice one-hand jam. But I mean, I try my best with it, but I feel like re doing the recordings live, I have more energy and obviously more passion in what I'm doing rather than just not being able to, you know, have that emotion like in post-production since I already played the game and I already know the outcome of the games, obviously. I mean, I do that with like the live recordings and with editing, but... I feel like a lot more of the passion's there, not to say that there's no passion here, but okay, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, but anyway, Seacum gets a nice little dunk, again, you just have to keep driving, especially getting jams and getting dunks as much as you can, just trying to cut the lead, because right now we're down by 9, and with all the nonsense that was going on this game, with all the fouls I was picking up, and all the turnovers that were going on, it was very frustrating, so I was trying to 
get past it and oh I get another and one okay having orange juice be all activated that's always really nice and just as young who was also pretty off this game or especially for the past couple of games in the playoffs I, I really don't know what was going on as I'm missing and one that's just that is not good love that orange juice connection just press up on the directional stick and you'll get that alley-oop with uh, especially when orange juice is activated i'm wide open with justice why not shoot a three with him but because justice young gets a three i also have to get a three as well as justice young grabs the rebound my guy's wide open <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know how I didn't get that block there, but I do not shoot threes that much because obviously I didn't make my guy a sharp shooting three pointer. He's more of a point forward. Here's another thing too, by the way, as I almost get another and one, I'm going to lay off a little bit on the sports games for a while. Now, I know that I'm, I'm going to focus more on story games. Now, I know that in, especially in games like the last walkthrough I did, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, I know that had a lot to do with a story. That was a story-driven game, but it also had to do with a sport. And I'm just, oh, get that out of here. Sorry, I'm just admiring the block. But I'm just kind of more focused on wanting to do, like, story games. I'm just, I don't know. I just want to give, like, sports games a break, especially with all the sports games that I've been doing. And plus, I got another... I got a couple great action adventure games uh, that I really want to do and uh, I think I just got caught there behind the guy so that's why I couldn't get out to the guy to contest the three so this is going oh my god this is just this is just just just, just, just horrible horrible ball handling skills absolutely horrendous and now Kawhi Leonard's trying to get open. I feel really bad for what happened to him uh, with Zaza Pachulio. And I, I, I just kind of rage here, especially giving up an and one. Kawhi's obviously making me pay. Me, personally, I did not feel like... I'm not 100% hundred, hundred sure if uh, Zaza Pachulia, uh made an unnecessary foul. If you guys watched game one between the Warriors and the Spurs, which... By the way, is about to come on. So after I'm done doing the voiceover recordings for this video, I will be watching that game. So that should be very interesting. But what do you guys, what do you guys think? Was the Zaza shot contest dirty? Let me know in the comments because he might have extended his leg out just a little bit. But sometimes that can be uh, purely, purely accidental. And look, I understand. It's the Warriors. I know that people are, how do I miss that? open layup now that this was the part where i really started to get frustrated and you'll see why as uh, the video goes along but understand it's the warriors i mean you know I, I feel like that's more again the media's fault for overexposing them and of course i get a charging call here and this is where i just start swearing and obviously you can't hear i, I don't know why but like the ps4 it doesn't record audio for some reason but me i just forgot to do something but i i wish i was live recording because there would have been a lot of rage tastic moments but anyway back to the warriors as i get blocked let's let's not forget let's not go back to that but the warriors are you know the media's favorite i do get that but they are a relatively new team so I don't know. Maybe it's the thing with Kevin Durant. Um, I I just okay. Maybe I'll, I'll have a different opinion than everyone else with the Warriors, but I might make a video about that. But speaking of which, this video is pretty much coming to an end because my guy fouled out and we lost the game. So we need to come back.